Hello viewers and welcome to my latest track guide. This week we are at Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya. This is the national course layout for the Skip Barber Racing School Series. I think that's the correct name of it. Um, without further ado, the weather conditions for all laps within this session on the screen now. Partly cloudy, 26 um, temps, track temp of 52. The lap we are going to be talking you through is going to be at 22.9 on set on my one of my final laps within the session as a race fuel run session. Uh, the setup all laps within this session was set using is on screen now. I did tinker with reducing the spring perch to try and reduce the zero X that we'll talk about when we get on track. On the final corner but it didn't really work to be honest so this is the setup we're running with so with that said let's head to the track okay so as we approach the start line to start our lap coming down the front straight got to remember this is the national layout so it's not the traditional turn one turn two so as we're approaching the 300 meter marker i want to stress on cold tyres, I'd recommend, certainly if you're of lower level driver, using the 300 meter marker as your braking reference point. As the tyres warm up, you're going to be using the blue cone on the right um, for your braking marker. Probably roughly around five laps in, you can comfort well, I wouldn't say comfortably, but start braking just before the blue mark, the blue cone, and get closer as you gain more confidence in the tyres underneath you but early laps use the 300 meter marker as your braking zone braking reference marker into the corner down to first gear throw it in hug this curb as much as possible try and stay off the actual curb as that will affect your traction through here we're going to mount this curb as much as we can use use all of it be sure to avoid the yellow curb on the right here that can Damage your car up to fourth. Come through here. I'd recommend staying off the right hand side curb as much as you can, as that will basically affect your traction, which affects your acceleration. You want to maintain good acceleration through that corner. Down the back straight. Down here, we're going to be braking on the 100 meter marker. Really need quite a good dose of brake here, all the way down to first gear. A very hard left. Throw it in. Use the curb on the right hand so left hand side of it. Exit onto the right curb. We can cut this curb a little bit on the left hand side here. Don't be too afraid of that. It will unbalance the car a little bit, but it's not too bad. Through here, keep it in second, modulate the throttle as needed. Up to third on the exit. Now into everyone's favourite little section of track. Going to be coming into here, down to first gear, sorry, second gear. Be sure to avoid the um, yellow sausage curbs on the right here. They can obviously unbalance the car very badly. As we come down here, we're going to be shifting down to first gear. And once again, avoid the massive sausage curbs on the left and on the right. Just negotiate yourself through here. And the will, the one big problem of this circuit that I've had is this final exit curb and the um, the sausage curb on the left here can very easily give you a zero X contact. I can't remember if it does on this lap or not, but there'll be a lot of people getting their laps, certainly in qualifying, disqualified due to a zero X contact on that final um, corner. Uh, that completes one lap of Catalonia National.
Okay, and there we have it. As always, guys, hope this video has been of use to someone out there. If you feel it's helped you, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and until next time, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. See you soon.